back today to discuss and demonstrate my frustrations when it comes to detangling my hair. Um, the one thing that I don't look forward to at all, the one thing that is, I just, not necessarily that I struggle with, but it just irks me, is detangling my hair. And it's something that you just have to do and you have to stay on top of. Especially when you have forward type hair, when you have thick hair and dense hair. Now my hair can hold a lot of a lot of mysteries and a lot of problems. Um, now I typically detangle my hair, of course, prior to washing my hair. I have tried everything. I've tried all type of products. I've tried leave-in conditioners, rinse out conditioners. I've tried DIY recipes, which honestly my favorite just so happens to be nappy head and jojobas recipe. But sometimes I can't go and get all those ingredients because that recipe has a lot of stuff in it, you know? And most of the time when it's time for me to actually wash my hair, I go to YouTube for inspiration. You know, I type in natural hair wash day. Sometimes my videos come up I'm like, girl, I don't want to look at me doing my hair. I want to get inspiration from someone else. <laughs> so, you know, I'll look up natural hair wash day. I'll look up detangling for C hair or for type hair. A uh, quick detangle. And I have tried some of those. Uh, videos. I tried Whitney's, AKA Nat Natural 85. I also have tried um, what is her name? Uh, My Natural Sisters, you know, with Tony, the three sisters out in Texas. I tried her quick in the shower. Basically, you have to do what works best for you, your hair type, your patience level. So, I typically, like I said, I, I detangle my hair. I have to for me to detangle the day before because depending on the state of what it's in it's gonna take a couple of hours okay um and i detangle on dry hair using some things i'm going to show you guys exactly what i use and how i go about it now lately if you notice in my previous styling video my hair wasn't looking right because my hair wasn't properly detangled so again it's something you have to stay on top of so for the past three weeks i've really been half assing it for lack of better words this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna be using um and then we're gonna unwrap what we got going on here and start properly detangling my hair i'm going to start from the front and work my way to the back now you're not going to see everything but what i'm going to do it's really is not that great on this side now i start off by using warm water in a spray bottle and i was gifted this nifty diffy sprayer and it just does this that just went everywhere, okay? Um, conditioners. I use a combination of different conditioners with great slip and oil. Sometimes I, I use a little bit more oil than I need to. It depends on, again, how um, how tangled my hair is. So, look. Oldie but goodie. We got Suave's coconut conditioner. And I'm going to turn down the brightness so you guys can really see me. Yeah, I bought that brightness down so y'all can really see me. So, I have Suave's coconut conditioner. I'll go through this. She's about halfway done. And then VO5 strawberries and cream moisturizing conditioner. Okay. Um, I have tons of different hair clips here. At least eight. One, two, three. I'm missing some. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I only have six. I'm going to need some more. So let's just go ahead and make sure that I have those here. Now, as far as detangling tools, I do have several videos demonstrating how I use everything from the Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush, wooden combs, and my hands. I don't know where my Felicia Leatherwood brush is at. I mean, I could not take ownership and say someone stole it, but ain't nobody stealing my stuff in my house, girl. So I have misplaced that brush, but that is okay because I rarely use that. I'm going to show you some of the things I have here. I'm just going to go. Look at this. A bunch of combs okay typically when you look at detangling natural hair videos you always see someone not always but oftentimes you'll see someone detangling their hair with a wide tooth comb looking like this in my opinion this is way too wide now I tend to go in between different tools and I'll show you that but this is way too wide because you're not gonna get all the tangles out if your hair is you know very tangled so this is just a t typical shower comb I oftentimes will use something this wide if I've already detangled my hair and I'm going in the shower and then I'm raking the conditioner through okay that's what this is good for a pick afro pick can be awesome and look the teeth are not that wide in between 
they're great it's very sturdy you can get down in there all right this is my nifty nifty comb you see now the teeth are getting a little bit smaller okay and then we have wooden combs now i have two different type of wooden combs i purchased both of these through amazon.com which i will be linking below so as you can see this one has wider teeth this is the one i use because it's very similar to the afro pick if i line see very similar to the Afro pick, all right? So, all right, y'all, let's get right into the madness, okay? So, this is an old Permrot set. She is about five days old, okay? Um, and I've just been having a headscarf on. And yeah, I know I have bobby pins all throughout here, so gonna make sure that we get this all down you know it would be great if someone came up with a mobile detangling service and you know what well, I'll pay good money for that come over you know you can serve some hors d'oeuvres and all right Where I feel like I have another bobby pin in here somewhere. But yeah, no, you know, someone needs to come out with some mobile detangling service so that those of us who are looking like this, you know, we can have someone to help us out. All right. All right, y'all. So, child, I'm looking like the hamburger. You know that. <laughs> you know that you be wearing that crazy uh, cock hat looking hat. I mean, my hair looks like that damn. Okay, Vivian. I mean, let me just go ahead and start sectioning my hair off. Um, okay. And I will be talking to y'all some while I'm doing this because this is going to be boring if all you see me just doing my hair. Right, girl? Okay. Okay. All right, y'all. So while I am sectioning my hair off, did any of you guys catch the little interaction between Sindal and African Hair God? Child. Look, let me tell you something. When you are a content creator and you decide to put yourself out there, um, it is what it is. People will, you know, you're basically open for criticism. You know, I get it. Everyone get, gets it. You go through it. Um, you either can move past it. I mean, you, you determine as the person receiving the criticism, you can determine how you deal with it. Um, and depending on what it is, too. Uh, so I'll give you guys a quick view. If you're not in on it, I'll give you a quick overview, overview of what happened. All right, y'all. So this is what, this backside is not too bad. Let's just be honest. So let's just go ahead and clip that up and get down to the business, which is, whew. All right. Y'all, I'm telling you, I, I get on, as a YouTuber, I watch YouTube. There ain't nothing that frustrates me more when I get on YouTube and searching for a video for matted, matted, tangled hair, preferably 4B, and I see 3A all over my screen or some other, like when I, this is not even tangled really at this point. Um, it's not that tangled, you know, cause it's a little bit blown out. But my one video that has quite a bit of a hits that was matted hair but it could have been even more matted you know what i mean like right now my hair is tangled because i could put my hands down here and the tangles are right there it's stopping right there it's not going anywhere else so i need to bring these tangles down okay so i need to further separate this and get down to business Yeah, see, this isn't, you know, I've only seen a handful of videos where the person's hair was really matted. Only a few. Now, at this point, I'm going to go in for a little bit of conditioner, okay? Uh, 
Now see, I'm bringing those tangles down. I'm, I'm working that through. Now I'm gonna take my wooden comb. I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up. Taking my time. Now, now that I'm up here, I'm gonna work that down. See how I'm working down the hair shaft? And see, now I can slide my fingers through the hair because it is properly detangled. And I'm gonna go ahead and twist that up. And I do wash my hair while it's still in twist, meaning using shampoo. Um, if you guys see my hair loose in my shower videos, I'm just doing it for y'all. I don't, girl, <laughs> I'm just doing it for added, added effect, you know? Um, I typically cleanse my scalp and my hair while it's still in twist because it's just gonna get, it just makes it easier, okay? See. Now this isn't, again, this isn't bad at all. It really isn't. But it's still, if I put my finger, yeah, my finger gets stuck right there. So. I have the type of hair also. Um, I will be putting my hair in loose two strand twists, but I have to watch it. One year I left them in for about two and a half weeks and certain pieces started to lock up. So I'm getting a little bit, it's getting really hard here somewhere. So I'm getting a little bit of matting. Um, so I need to take my time with this area. Yeah, I can feel it. Feels like a patch. You know what I mean? It feels like a patch when it starts to mat. A patch of hair, a patch of matted hair basically. I'm gonna take a little bit of conditioner and work that in. Now, let's see. Now that section is detangled. I made it brighter, you guys, so you can see that. You can really see that. That's why it's so bright right now. And we're gonna twist that up. After I had my son, JB, who was now six years old, I felt like my hair textured had changed. Something had changed. My hair, of course, got thicker. I did experience some postpartum shedding um, around this area, around here, um, which, you know, it's, it's since has grown back. But besides that, I felt like my hair became, well, since it was thicker, of course, I was going to have issues with um, detangling my hair. I just feel like it was, it was for a while there, it was harder for me to detangle my hair. Um, yeah, so this section is not bad at all. So y'all, let's jump get into this video we saw, or I saw, <laughs> like I'm putting you in it too. So, um, like I said earlier in the video, um, as a fellow content creator, I know that when I put information out here that, you know, not everyone's going to agree with it and there are going to be people who are going to have their own opinions and that is fine. As long as you come at me, you know, you're not coming at me sideways, I'm open to any type of constructive criticism. Um, and I think that's just the type of mindset you have to have. And sometimes people, you know, will say things in a way that, you know, you may not like it, but that's just how it is, you know? So getting back to African Hair God does reaction videos. And honestly, they both do reaction videos. Um, Sin Doll, who is a hairstylist, and African Hair God is also a hairstylist, just to let you guys know. Now, I discovered African Hair God, um after he did a he has very informative videos and he was detangling a young lady's matted severely matted hair okay so that's how i discovered him and i just like him for the information that he shares as a natural hairstylist okay and then um i can't remember exactly how i discovered sindal but i'm pretty sure it was due to one of her um she's known for what is it the uh flat iron videos and the silk presses. And even though I would never get one of those done on my hair just because 
I really don't care to see my hair straightened because I know me, I will be like, yay, five hours of doing this and I miss my curls. That's just how I am. But I appreciate um, her as a content creator and the information that she provides. Now, I don't agree with everything that Sindal says. I don't have to. I don't agree with everything the African hair god, you know, puts on. I know Sindal had several videos as it relates to um, rice water and the rice water videos. Water, the dangers of rice water. And um, I will say, always do your own research. Uh, in my opinion, when it comes to research like that, is that a gray hair girl? We won't. I this is a new one for me, and and she's so disrespectful. So anyway, um, the one person who I appreciate the most, and I. Even I still do my research after looking at her. It's the Green Beauty Channel. And she does have a video, several videos, the Green Beauty Channel does as it relates to rice water. So this particular, let's get to the point. This particular um, reaction video, African Hair God, was looking at different natural hair videos and just giving his commentary on what he thought. The particular video he looked at, first of all, I, in my opinion, I thought the video that he reacted to of Sendal wasn't one of her best videos. So the video that he reacted to was of her detangling um, a child, a young lady's uh, natural hair. And when I tell you, it looked like she was ripping through that poor girl's hair. It literally did. Now I understand that the footage was fast forwarded. Okay, it was sped up. So it could appear like that just because it was fast. Um, it was sped up. But even then, it just seemed like she was, wasn't was properly detangling her hair. There were comments that someone said that. Um, and I don't know if this is true or not. But the little girl in the video was crying and all this stuff. I don't know about that. I saw only bits and clips of the video and it's still up. So... She was not happy about African Hair God reacting to her video. One thing I will say is that Sindal just say in her video when she was detangling the young girl's hair, she did say that she already had started detangling before she came on. So her hair wasn't as matted, okay? She she did say that. She said that at the beginning of the video, okay? So, and I remember that. Um, even though, you know, like I said, everyone has the right to. You have to be open, you guys. Um, she has since removed, meaning Sindal has since removed a video she made in reaction to his video. And then he made a video. <laughs> so yeah, it went back and forth like that. He made a video basically stating that, you know, this isn't about you. To summarize it, my video, my reaction video wasn't about you. It was a collection of reaction of different hairstylists and she was one of them, but she didn't take it so lightly. So I think she left either a comment on that video or Instagram. I believe she left a comment on that video completely. Is, is Sindel from Detroit, y'all? I feel like she's from somewhere where they, they get buck. We say that in Texas, but you know what I mean. They snap. And so she kind of snapped, but not really. Um, and in her reaction video to his, or her, her response basically to his reaction video, there were a couple of her subscribers who were basically stating, you need to be open. Um, you seem to be very defensive. And she responds in this very, I don't want to say, it's because I don't think she's passive aggressive. It's almost condescending. Thank you for your feedback. But, <laughs> but again, I think she's just trying to keep it, she's trying to keep it calm. She's not trying to go there. Um, Sindal is one of those type of people that, I think she's an empath. And she's one of those type of people that she, she does get into her feelings. And I could tell that that reaction video he made really triggered her, even though it wasn't all about her, but still she felt like it was. So, um, like I said, she since removed her video. Um, I think he's made two videos since then. And y'all, I mean, it is what it is. Let me tell you something. If he ever, anyone was ever to react to any of my videos whether it be good or bad i would be i would welcome it <laughs> but then again look i'm not a stylist i'm not a licensed cosmetologist so you know my credentials aren't you know what i mean so i guess my 
thing is, is that I will almost feel honored. I'm like, yes, drag me. I woke up. No, no, don't drag me. But you know what I mean. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. So, anyway, enough of that. I am, look at that, look at that. Slowly undo that part. I need to make this smaller. Now, let me show you the example of going through with a big comb. Okay, this is the big shower comb, right? Now, this section, this part is not that tangled. And she's about a 4B. Maybe some 4A in there, but she's definitely a 4B, okay? So, that's with me going through with this huge shower comb, right? Now, let's go on with the wooden comb and see if I got everything. See? Now, she's snagging. Yeah, see, that's why I, you know, I side eye people who sometimes use those big shower combs to initially detangle their hair. I just don't think it can get everything out. I really don't. I mean, I get, you know, the weirdest comments, you guys, lately. The men have been snapping. Child, I had somebody on one of my, um, I had to delete it. Some comments I do delete. Some of them, I'm like, whatever. I had someone comment on their rice water video that um, you're already, you already have long hair, so you're not a good candidate for this. I don't think I had long hair when I started that. My hair was nine inches in the back, okay? I had medium length hair when I started that challenge, but hey, if she thinks I have long hair, thank you. Um, you know, I've had other, you know, not too crazy comments. You can see the trolls every now and then, but the men have been getting out of control. Um, I had someone on one of my food videos basically stated that he wants to pound my meat. I'm like, okay, um, thank you for the offer. I had someone not too long ago <laughs> stated that he loves my armpits. And he wants to sniff them. Yeah, your ass got, he, he got deleted and removed. And you know, when it gets weird like that, like, yeah, no. But I just think that was crazy. So anyway, I am working now on the back. And she's not even, not even close to being tangled. I mean, I can. Y'all, I hardly have, even though I've done only about, you know, four or five parts. There's hardly no hair. Now, I can feel tangles on this side. See, isn't that crazy? Now my hair is already, look at that. Child, just, the shrinkage is so angry. I mean, my shrinkage is just angry for no reason. Look at that. You guys, you have to, you have to remember, or maybe you don't know. My hair is past my bra, but look at her. Look, sorcerer. So it is 1 15 45 minutes 45 minutes and my hair really wasn't that tangled let me show you how much hair has came out go in between all of it now I normally don't use all of these tools that you see here but and honestly I need to put some away because I don't want to be going in between so I will probably just keep the afro pick and the wooden comb use those two and yeah so let me gather up all of my shedded hair which really wasn't that bad um this is how much we had for now okay and again my hair was not that I mean, it was tangled and it was a little matted in one or two areas, but not bad. Not bad at all. She's been worse. Let me tell you, she has been worse. So, yeah, 45 minutes just for that side. And this will probably take me another 45 minutes or so to do. Is what it is, girl. It's something that we all have to do. So, let me know, you guys, how do you detangle your hair? 
let me know how you do it how do you get through it um are you drinking when you're doing it <laughs> my miss early said just pour yourself a glass of wine and just sit down and start doing it and also let me say this when you are taking out a protective style please make sure to properly detangle your hair um i would not recommend depending on i would not recommend shampooing your hair directly after um taking out a protective style and i've seen people who do that and that just especially if you're using something that's a it's a cleansing agent it's gonna lock up your hair so it's gonna lock up that, that dirt it's gonna yeah no i wouldn't recommend doing that and i know it can be overwhelming with all of the information that is out here but you also have to keep in mind um take me as an example i've had to change my regimen depending on my length okay i started off with a shaven head you guys i could do everything in the shower up until the three-year mark um yes I could probably detangle my hair in the shower, but I would be wasting a lot of water. And that's just not right. So that is it, everyone. I'm going to start getting on this side, praying that we can get through it within 45 minutes, which I think I can do. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.